What's up guys? My name is Turkey Jerky and welcome to Night Lights. Now, Night Lights is a 2D puzzle platformer that is currently out. Well, it's actually in its demo mode. I think it just got lit on a Steam green light starting a new game. Alright, I don't have progress, but sure. Anyway, it is um, it's still a demo, but it's based on using lights and shadows to get around and to progress throughout the game so like um, like right here how there's a ladder that we're supposed to go down but there's the floor in the way so what you'll do is use this to turn it on and now you can actually go down the ladder so I think that's actually a pretty cool mechanic now this is let's see, what are we supposed to do Okay, jump over. Jump back over. See? Okay. That light was hiding part of that, so we will push this little block off onto that little pedestal. And turn this back on. I don't think we had to, but I'll do it anyway. Um So far, I haven't really watched any gameplay of it. I think it just came out pretty recently, or at least it said it was just published. Um, like two weeks ago or so. So, um, but some from some of the comments that I was reading, I've heard that it's uh, it's kind of being compared to um, Inside and Limbo and some of those games. I don't know if if any of y'all have played them, but they're definitely if if you haven't watched them or played them, uh, Limbo came first, and then it was Inside. I would definitely recommend playing them. I've played and beat both of them. So they're they're definitely worth the uh, the money and uh, to buy and the time to play them. They're uh, me I, I love puzzle games. I love trying to figure things out, especially on my own. So that's why I wanted to play this when I saw it before I see before too many people play it and uh, before I have a chance to watch other people play it because I know once I do, that'll kind of give away how to how to beat some of the things. Let's see, I can't do that. So, hmm, can I jump and swing from that? I'm not sure. Okay, so that turns that off. So definitely, what I need to do is to come over here. Okay, I can climb on this little this little fencing. Apparently, I should have tried that first. I thought I was gonna have to use that light to. Uh... Oh crap! Okay, getting the light and the block disappears. So, okay, that makes sense of why you have to move it now. So I have to move it so it won't disappear. Bring it over here. Put it on this little pedestal. Come up here. I'm not sure what this is that I'm getting, but um. I think we need it to um, put in that little that little block over there to activate the, uh, the pedestal, I guess, so we can get to the next stage. All right, let's go. Okay, I love how I love games like this because as you progress, they well, I guess with any game, you know, it gets more and more difficult as you go. But I love. I love that um, just as you think, when you think that games like this, like like Limbo or Inside, as soon as you think that they've they've used all the tricks that they can't really put new stuff in, new mechanics, new ideas, new obstacles that that they do, they always they always find a a way to um, keep surprising you to continue to uh, make things more and more difficult. So. I really like that because if it was a game like this where once you've once you've played the first the first level or two, yeah, even though it's the same same ideas throughout, it um it's the same concept, but it is changing every time. So uh, now what do I do here? Clearly, I'm supposed to get up to the top, but how? I 
I've got to get that light turned on so I can get that block down. I can't jump up there just just from being on this rock. So maybe I'm supposed to get that just enough where I'll have a ledge to jump on, but then be able to jump up to that to the next part of the ladder. That seems like that might be what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'll just um, I'll put that where there's still a little bit of a ledge where I can stand on. Hopefully, okay, yeah. And then. What, you're, what we're supposed to be doing here. Alright then. What next? I can't turn the light, can I? No. I don't think there's any way to shut the light off, though. Let's see. Because that switch up there is what's going to turn that light off. So I have to get up there first before I can, before I can do anything else. How do I do that? Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. It doesn't get rid of all of the ladder. It only gets rid of parts of the ladder. Wow. Wow. So, wow. I am apparently blind. Like, completely blind. Okay, that's where I've got to get up to eventually. But the first thing I need to do is just turn this on. So then that will turn this light on, hopefully, or should have. I don't know if I can walk across this little, this wire. Hopefully I can. Nope, I can't. Glad I can't die. Well, that would have just killed me. Alright, yay. But I'm pretty sure the next thing I need to do is push this block up. Okay, yeah, the light's gonna bring it up. No, don't push it out of the light. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Alright, yeah, there we go. Now, I don't... I don't know what this other thing was up here. Unless... I don't know, because it just seems like this is the next spot I'm supposed to go to. So, yeah, I don't know what that other area was at the top of that... At the top of those ladders, but... Alright, so we have to power up the doors, it looks like. So the first place I'm going to go is down here. And I'm going to grab this little, this little doohickey. Oh, crap. And I just got stuck, didn't I? No, I didn't. Ugh. Okay, there we go. I thought I just got myself stuck. That wouldn't have been good. Alright, so I need to get to let this block drop. There we go. Now I need to push this block down here so it can open up those doors. I think. There we go. Now, I'm guessing that this door takes you up to that door, probably. That would be my, my guess. Come on. Alright, there we go. It's really cool how you can use it to, uh, to walk on, also. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I think got that one. Um, okay. Activated that. Okay, that's what, that's what the other portal at the top of those, at the top of the ladders was doing. You had to come to this area, get both of those. So then, now that we are, come on now. There we go. Now that we are back here, we can go. No, I know. I know your trick now. You can't fool me again. I mean, you probably could, but wow, I can't believe I wasn't even paying attention to that. Anyway, now that we've got those two little uh, jewel things, we can come up here, pop those in, think, think, and there we go, and go through that portal. Yay! Okay. Um, I don't know if I can jump up here and grab this one yet. No, okay. Probably gonna have to get that block down off of off of up there, 
and then uh, use it to jump up on top of that to get that. That would be my that would be my guess at least. I think. Cause that. Okay, yeah, that does that takes you up there, but I'm guessing we probably need to use this one first. And then jump up there and get the second one. Alright. And then push this back over here. And then once we get this little block on the lift, we'll be able to... Come on, make it, make it, make it! Dang it! Alright. So once we once the lift comes back down we can put the block on the lift, put it on the switch, which I'm guessing will open the door. But I don't know what we need the door for yet. Come on. There we go. Okay, that just took the light off. Oh, that makes sense, because if we had been riding it up, the light would have made it disappear, and then we would have just fallen completely through it, which wouldn't have been good. Uh what does this do? Come on. Come on. Oh, it doesn't work because I don't have the other one powered up yet. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to fall through this one. Maybe I can land on this ledge. Alright, well those will open the doors, which means I can probably transfer between the two doors. Because that's what I'm going to have to do to get the block through. I'm hoping I can transfer the block over it. Maybe. Ugh! Push! Can I pull it through? Can I pull it through? I don't know what's going to happen if that lands on me or the block. Apparently nothing. But now... Okay, well the block will still be there. But it sh it'll probably fall through. Okay, so it'll go all the way through to the top, but I can't. Okay, so yeah. So I just need to go through the door. Crap, come on. I need to go through the door, get up here to the top, and then as soon as that other uh, lift gets to the top, I need to grab the block and and uh, pull it off to, uh, to get it on the switch. Switch a do, switch a do hickey. That's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, that was close. All right, got that. And boom, boom. There we go. All right. Now, this lift is going to just take me down to somewhere. I don't know where. Apparently, this deep, deep, dark cavern of the abyss, where I guess this is the next area I will go to. I like the EDM music right there. That's pretty, pretty sweet. That. Hey, it's a nightlight. Yay! Uh, hey, that hurt. Ah, now that is cool. Is that it, or is there more? Okay, okay, there's still some more. Awesome. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I can use this now to to think and get through places. That is a really cool feature. See, stuff like that, that's what I was talking about. Like as soon as as soon as you think that you've you figured everything out to where it's just um come on. Why can't I jump over there? Oh. Oh well, I can pull it. It's like as soon as I'll just uh come back up here through this door again. Boom that off. I'll just use this to... I'm having a hard time jumping across. There we go. Now, now I can use this, my little light right here. What? Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Oh, I need to be able to... Maybe I have to hold it while I... Dang it! What in the world am I supposed to do right here? Let me get this light turned back on. All it was doing was just... making it where I can't get up there. But... I don't know... 
Okay, maybe this one has to... Maybe this one has to go through. And then... Okay, yeah, that's... That's what it is. That one has to go through. I don't know if the other one just couldn't go through. Or if it... That, that's probably it. They would probably make it where only certain blocks can go through. That would make it more of a challenge because you're having to figure out which ones are which. Yeah, because that one completely disappears in the light. So that that one down there at the bottom is the only one that you can use to get up here. So that that's pretty cool. That makes it a lot trickier. Congratulations, you have completed the demo. Thank you for playing. All right. That was... Oh. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was not lots. Um, yeah. Well, that's that. That was the demo. Like I said, I think that it, that was a good game. That was that was a good start. It just got approved on Steam Greenlight, so um, it's on Indiegogo. So if if anybody feels like going and supporting it, I'm sure that they could use it because that's a solid beginning. But I'm sure that they have a lot more ideas in mind that they want to uh, incorporate into the final the final product and I would love to see it to see it get made and to see it finished and and to be able to play it once it does come out because that was that was good I love how you had to use I love the the mechanics of using the lights and the uh, the shadows and the different the different blocks uh, to get to progress through the game the to progress through the game and especially there at the end when you got the little light bulb on your head and then that became a part of it too where you had to you yourself could be like a traveling light but uh, it definitely it added some new it added some new mechanics to it and it added a different level of difficulty to it as well so overall I think they have a really good idea right here I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it get made in the future and yeah to, uh, to end up playing to do a playthrough of it as well so I will leave a link down in the comments if anybody else wants to download it and check it out, it's a short little game, but over, but it was it was really really well done. So I strongly recommend downloading it, giving it a playthrough, and going and donating to uh, to this game to see it made if if you have the means to. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any thoughts, ideas on the game, or if you have, if there's anything else you'd like for me to play, uh, leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, drop a like and please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.